Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan back with the next video. And in this video, we are going to do the main part of our application which is downloading wallpapers. For downloading the image from the URL, we can use the same method using Glide. But this time, we will save the wallpaper or the image file to the external storage inside a particular folder. So let's code this thing now. Okay. As I told you, we are going to save the file into external storage. So to do this, we need write external storage permission. Okay. So what we will do, we will go to the Android manifest.xml file and here we will define the write storage permission. So we have users permission and write external storage. Okay. So we need this permission only. Now again go to wallpapers adapter and here uh, we will create some methods. Okay, so let's do it here. Actually, we are going to create two methods. The first method will download the wallpaper. Okay, so we will create private void download wallpaper. Again, it will take a wallpaper object as an argument. Okay. Then after this method, we will create one more method and we will name it private and the return type of this method will be URI as this method is going to return us the URI of the wallpaper. Okay. And we can name this method as save wallpaper and get URI makes sense, right? For this method, we will pass the bitmap object. Now this bitmap is containing our wallpaper. Okay. And one more parameter we need here, which is the name of our wallpaper. And we are going to use the wallpaper ID as the file name. Okay. So we can write ID here. Now inside the method save wallpaper, first we will check if the permission is granted or not. Okay. As you already know, from Android Marshmallow, we need to check the permission and runtime. Okay. So to check the permission, we can write F and inside this F, we can check the permission. So let's check context compact dot check self permission. Okay. The first parameter it takes is the context object and the next parameter is manifest the permission okay manifest dot permission dot we need write oops actually let's write android dot manifest dot permission dot write external storage okay let me hide it now if let me write it like this so that it is visible in a single screen okay so if this permission is not equals to package manager dot permission granted okay if it is not equals to package manager dot permission granted that means the permission is not available for the application. Okay. So in this case, we will ask the user for the permission. Okay. Now here we will check if the permission was already asked or not. Okay. And to do this, we can write one more F. So let's write it here. And here we will write activity compact dot should show request permission okay and the first parameter it takes is the activity object but we do not have the activity object here okay so what we can do we can cast the context to activity okay and the second parameter it takes is the permission name so we have manifest this one dot permission dot write external storage. Okay. 
and again I will write it like this so that it is visible on a single screen okay now if this is true that means the permission was already asked and the user denied the permission okay so in this case if this condition is true you need to show an explanation to the user that why you need this permission okay but in this case I am not going to display an explanation okay what I will do I will open the settings screen from where user can give the permission okay and one more thing we need to do we need to cast this thing to activity just press alt enter and the IDE will do it for you okay in the else part we can directly ask for the permission okay now if the permission is not granted we will return null and stop the further execution okay and in the else part we will ask for the permission so let's do it quickly we can simply write activity compat dot request permissions again the first parameter is the activity object so we will cast the context to activity and the next parameter is the list of permission that you need right now we need only one permission which is manifest dot permission dot write external storage oops we need to use android dot manifest android dot manifest dot permission dot write external storage okay and the last parameter it takes is a request code okay so you can pass here any number because right now we are not going to create the callback okay which is on request permission result okay so let's cast this thing to activity okay now inside the if we will open the settings screen from where user can grant the permission okay so to do this we will create a normal intent So we have the intent now we will set the action intent dot set action as settings dot action application details setting okay application details yeah this one application details settings okay so we have this action for our intent now we will create a uri okay so let's create a uri object uri uri equals to uri dot from parts okay and here we will pass our applications package okay so right here package and we can get the applications package name using the context object so we can write mctx dot get package name okay and for the next parameter we can pass null so we have our uri now we will set this uri to our intent using set data okay and finally we will start this intent using mctx dot start activity and we will pass the intent that's it so we have the permission thing completed now if the permission and everything is okay we will save this bitmap object to our external storage okay and to do this first we will create a folder okay where we are going to store our wallpaper so let's do it create a file object for folder as well we need to create a file object okay so let's name it folder and we will create a new file and here we will get the external storage directory so we have environment dot get external storage directory 
and we will convert it to string and then we will attach our folder name where we want to store the wallpapers okay so let's name it wallpapers hub that's it now uh, create the folders using the folder dot make dirs method it will create all the directories in this folder path if they are not already exist okay now we will create our file now this file is going to store our wallpaper okay so let's create a file 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 equals to new file and the first parameter is the destination where we are going to store the file so we are going to store the file inside this folder okay so we will write folder and the next parameter is the file name okay so for the file name we can use this id so let's write id plus and this time we are going to store a jpeg file okay so the extension is jpg now we will create a file output stream object okay so let's do it we have file output stream out equals to new file output stream and we will pass the file object to this file output stream now again this may arise an exception so we need so we need to wrap it inside try and catch and you can easily do it by pressing alt enter okay so we have this file output stream object now we can write the bitmap using this file output stream object so we need to call the compress method which is inside bitmap okay so the first parameter is the compression format here so we are going to use the jpeg compression this time so we will write bitmap dot compress format dot jpeg okay the next parameter is the quality and we will give the 100% quality this time okay and the last parameter is the output stream so we will pass our file output stream object now finally we will flush the output and we will close it okay now press alt enter and add one more cache clause and it will work okay now here we can return the URI from the file object. So we will write return URI dot from file and we will pass the file object. If any error occurs, we will write return null. Okay. So we have our method ready. First we did the permission thing and then we have written our file to the external storage. Okay. Now come to this method and here you can copy the same thing that you did with share wallpaper method. So copy it and paste. Okay. It is wallpaper. That's it. Now we need to do a little change in this intent part. Okay. So what we are going to do is instead of this action send we will write action view as this time we need to view the wallpaper okay and we don't need this thing as we are not creating a file a chooser now let's delete this thing okay and here first we will get the uri of our bitmap object okay so we need to save this resource into our external storage and we already have the method to do that so here we can simply create a uri object uri equals to save wallpaper and get uri we will call this method and we will pass the resource and for the id we can get the id from this wallpaper object okay so let's write wallpaper here wallpaper dot id okay so we have the id now we will check if uri is not equals to null so we will do the further thing only if the uri object is not null so if the uri is not null we will set the data to the intent using intent dot set data and type method 
now the first parameter to this method is the URI object so we will pass our URI and the next parameter is the type so here we have image slash asterisk okay the type is image now finally uh, we will call this thing and we need to write it inside f okay so cut and paste that's it now it should work so let's test it okay And I just realized that I forget to call this method. Okay, so it is not going to work. So let's do it. We need to call this method here. Okay, when the download button is clicked. So let's call the method download wallpaper. And we will pass the wallpaper list dot get and get adapter position. Okay. So download wallpaper is called here and save wallpaper and get URI is called in this method. Okay. So let's run the application again and this time it will work. So this is our application. Now let's select Marvel. Now let's try downloading this wallpaper. Okay. So we click the download button and it is asking us for the permission. Okay. Now if you will deny the permission and you will tap on the download button again, it will open the settings screen. And from here you can grant the permission. Okay. Now if everything is okay, let me install the application. And run it again. Now select Marvel and let's try downloading a wallpaper. Okay. So download Thanos. It is asking for the permission. Now we can allow the permission. And let's try downloading again. And you see, it is asking for the application to open the wallpaper. Okay. Now if I will select photos, so I have the wallpaper here, okay. And you can go to the file manager to check if it is storing the wallpaper or not, okay. So go to external storage. So it is actually inside internal storage, okay. So you see we have folders here. And inside the folder, we have the wallpaper downloaded. Okay, so it is working fine. So that is all for this video friends. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, then please hit on the like button. Tell your friends to subscribe to this channel and share this video as well. So thank you guys. This is Bilal Khan signing off.